Okay, today we're going to focus on trying to do transformations using RTI Inspire. What you're going to see right now is going to help us to do any kind of transformation for any type of function. But for this video, we're going to focus only in a quadratic function. So to give an idea what we're talking about, this is the problem that we have. We have x, negative x to the second power plus 4 as the original function. And they're asking us to do this transformation, negative f of x or f of negative x, or one half of f of x, or two f of x, two times f of x. So, <clears throat> we've been doing this by hand, but right now we're going to try to do it with a calculator. So the way that this is going to work is to start with, we're going to graph our original function, which is negative x squared plus 4. So we're going to go to our calculator, open the graph, and as you can see in f1 of x, so the first function that we're going to put is our uh, original function, in this case, negative x squared plus 4. So I go here, negative x squared plus 4, and we press enter. This is the problem that we're talking about. This is the quadratic function. You can see the function right here. Negative x to the second power plus 4. Okay. Now, going back to our work, they are being we are being asked to find negative f of x. So, this is why we're going to try to make more sense in the calculator. f1 of x is my original function. They want me to find negative f of x. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to tab. And as my second function, I'm going to say negative the first function, as I'm being asked to do. Negative f1 of x. Why if 1? Uh, now it's where we put our function. So I'm saying negative this function. Just here it says negative the function. And all that you do is press enter. So you can perfectly see that the only thing that happened is this was a reflection over the x-axis. So we say reflection over the x axis and that's exactly what happened okay now they're asking me also to find the transformation f of negative x so we're talking about the same function negative x to the second part plus 4 now they want me to find f of negative x so I'm going to do here is go tab and then I'm going to say f 1, because that's the function that I'm talking about, of negative x. So this is what I need you to understand or see. Here they say f negative x. That's exactly what I wrote here. Just that I included the 1 because I'm referring a. That is the one that I want you to change, this one right here. I press enter. What happened? It actually overlapped perfectly. Now this can be a little bit deceiving. Why? Because what happened here is that this parabola pretty much had a reflection but over the y-axis so it fell in the same place. So it just turned this way and it, found it happened to land the same way. So this is a reflection over the y-axis. Sorry about that. Okay, after that being said, now I have one half times the function. Okay, um, I am not a big fan of having a lot of functions at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, delete that one right there, and I'm going to go up, and here I'm going to delete this one, and I'm going to put the new one that I'm being asked to do, which is one half times the f of x. So I say control division one half times the function, which is one half, one half f of x. One half, and I have to say f one of x, because that is the one that I'm talking about. Press enter. 
What happened? Oh, it went down. Actually, it kind of like started getting a little bit. So what ended up happening is this started widening, started getting a little bit fatter. Okay. So. Oops. It got wider. And for the last one, if you see, you just have to put two F of X. Now, a lot of people see, okay, it didn't get only wider, it went down. No. Actually, what happened is that we did a compression, a vertical compression, and when we started compressing, this went down. I can tell that because we still have the same zero, so that's pretty much what happened. So now we have two times the f of x. So I'm going to go here, press tab, go up, and now I no longer have one half times the f of x. Now I have two times the f of x. Press enter, and what happened? Oh, it's getting skinnier. So we just got. Nah, lower. This actually, we can also call it a vertical stretch. It's like we pull it up and down and end up being turned this way. Again, how do we know that? The zeros remain the same. Okay, those are the only things that remain the same. Everything else got pushed up and down. Okay, start right here with this problem. If f of x equals 3x to the second power, then f of x minus 3 is equivalent to what? So the first thing that I notice is that I have an original function. f of x is 3x to the second power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my inspire. I'm going to go to my graph function, this one right here, and I'm going to graph my original function. Again, my original function was 3x to the second power. 3x to the second power. Press enter. This is the quadratic function that we're talking about. Now, in my problem, they say ha that this function was changed, was transformed to f of x of negative 3. Now, we know that what this means is that we're going to replace the x by negative 3. So, so we don't have to do it by hand. Remember, f1 of x, the equation that we put in, 3x to the second power, is stored right in my calculator. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to press tab. In my second equation, I'm going to refer to the first equation, f1 of x. So I'm going to say this is f1 of x. So I'm trying to talk about a. This equation that I told you before, that's the one that I'm talking about. This is the way you're referring to the calculator. But I'm saying, okay, this equation that you have right here, I want you to change it. I want you to change the x value, take away from 3 from the x value, or do an x minus 3 instead of x. So the ways that we do that, so I'm just going to write exactly the same way that it was told to me. I'm just referring F1 because I'm talking about that equation right there. So again, F x minus 3, that's exactly what we put in our calculator, just that we put the 1 because we're saying, yeah, the equation that I put, it, the function that I put in the first function, in number 1, and we press Enter. The calculator will do the transformation for us, so let me move this label. Now, I can see exactly what happened. Well, my parabola moved to the right three units. One, two, three. It didn't move up. It didn't get higher. It didn't move down. It didn't get lower. So what I'm going to do right now, according to the way that I'm being asked, is I see which one of these actually is the red one, this transformation. So for that, I'm going to make it really easy. What I will do is I'm going to graph each one of these possibilities. 
And how will I know which one is the right one? Well, the one that overlaps to my transformation, which is the red one. So how do we do that? Very simple. We press tab. And I'm going to say, oh, 3x to the second power minus 9x plus 9. 3x to the second power minus 9x and plus 9. Plus 9. So you see this appear right here. Now, does this new uh, parabola overlap the red one? The answer is no. So that's not my answer. Remember, we're looking for the one to transform this way. So now we're going to go to the second one. 3x to the second power minus 18x minus 27. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press tab and I'm going to go up. And I'm going to modify this right here. I don't like to have too many equations at once. So it was minus 18 and then minus 27. Way off. So this is ex not the one that I'm at looking for. So I move on to the next one. 3x to the second power minus 18x plus 27. So the only thing that I have to do is press tab, go up, and this right here just change to a plus 27. Let's see what happens. You see how the black parabola overlap perfectly over the red parabola? That means that those two are the same. So that means that this big quadratic formula happens to be exactly the same as this, which is the transformation that they ask. So that tells us that this is my answer.